to define this riddle of Parkinson's disease, we need a variety of tools. And fortunately, technologies have evolved a lot in recent years in terms of neuroimaging, in terms of biomarkers. Now you, you go to any uh, meeting in the, in the neurology field and you hear a lot of uh, uh, talks about biomarkers. And we have, in the context of Parkinson's, uh, had a, a recent uh, advance, which is the validation of an assay that has been already uh, used in the field for a few years, but now it was validated in a large cohort and it, this is the uh, seed amplification assay, which basically measures uh, the ability of alpha-synuclein uh, in CSF to seed the aggregation of non-aggregated protein. And so what uh, was confirmed now is that in, when you extract CSF from patients with Parkinson's or uh, MSA or DLD, different synucleinopathies, the assay can uh, tell you whether someone uh, has aggregated synuclein or not. And so the assay cannot, um, uh, it, it, can, it, it, it has uh, uh, only a yes or no value, so it, it doesn't tell you how much uh, 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 your risk or how, how likely you are to get Parkinson's, but it tells you if you already have an alteration or not. And these signals are important because then together with the imaging and of course the clinical criteria, you can start to distinguish groups of patients where you have positivity for this marker or not. And then you may be able to treat them differently because of this information that you now have. So I think these are recent advances that make us all very excited.